What is going on everybody, it is your boy Nothing But Skills and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the Ghost Mask. This is the right way to get the Ghost Mask. The other way you could have got the Ghost Mask was in my other video if you guys watched that video. But that way was not the way it was intended to get. This right here is how you guys get the Ghost Mask, how you make the Hunter spawn. And if you haven't, you might actually get another Ivory Key. So once you kill the Hunter, you will get the Ghost Mask. This is a step by step on how to do that. Enjoy. The first thing we need to do is capture this monument and take over this control point so we have access to the supply room. Once you get the notification that it says Washington Monument Captured, you'll get a notification that says Access to Supply Room Unlocked. And that's the next step in unlocking this mask. We need to head to the supply room and then go all the way inside. Now once you get inside these doors, you need to open the supply room doors. Now once you open the supply room doors, now you have to do is just go down the rope slide all the way down and there's going to be a computer there now you can only do this at night time guys remember you cannot do this during the day so once you get in front of this computer you need to interact with it and then it's going to show you a map what i did is i took a screenshot of this map with my cell phone but you guys have this video right so you guys need to find those three locations and there's going to be three graves there and you need to salute those graves so i'll show you each location once we get there. So the first grave I'm gonna to go to is gonna be just southeast of the flooded lead control point. So we're gonna head there and then I'll show you an exact pinpoint once we arrive. So the first grave site I went to had some wheelbarrows next to it. Once you get in front of the grave site, this is where you need to salute. So you need to emote salute the grave. Once you do, you're gonna see that the screen flickers a little bit. So take a look, when I salute, it starts to flicker and then it stops. So that's how you know you correctly saluted the grave. And let's take a look exactly where I'm at. So this is the pinpoint. Take a look at this, mark it on your map, however you wanna do it, but that is where the first graveyard is. So the next grave site is gonna be southeast of the control point. So it's a little bit closer to the control point. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fast travel back to the control point, that I'm back at the control point. We're gonna mark the grave site, it's just south of it. So we're gonna head there, and once I get there, I'll show you exactly where the pinpoint is of where I'm at and where the gravesite is. So once you arrive to this gravesite, it's kinda hidden in between some bushes, but it's right there, it's one by itself. You just have to get close enough. I'm gonna show you where the monument is. You can see I see Unite. When I saluted this time, I didn't get it, so I have to get a little bit closer. So if you don't get the flicker, get a little bit closer. Once you get the flicker, you know you saluted correctly, and let me show you. So it's southwest a little bit, but it's south directly right where I hit that checkpoint. And the next one's gonna be northeast of it. So we're gonna head to that one right now. Now, once we get to this one, you have to do the same thing. So this is the third and final grave site that we have to salute. Once we get there, you're gonna see, it looks like it's two grave sites. You see the wheelbarrow. All you have to do is salute it. Once I salute, I get the flicker. So that is the third and final grave site. Now let me show you where it is on the map. So directly northeast. Now once you get this, you need to head back to the computer room where we started this. So we're gonna go back to the supply room. We're gonna go down the rope. After we get down the rope, we need to interact with the computer. Now you might be able to do this the same day. You might not be able to if you have time, but you'll get a circle. Now this is where it was glitching before. Now once we go up top, we're gonna to climb up the rope, and there's gonna be a circle waiting for us. A circle waiting for us on the outside, you'll see it. As soon as we get in the circle, the hunter will spawn. So all you have to do is stand inside the circle. The hunter spawned, and then we just have to finish him off. He's right in front of me. So I'm just gonna finish him off right here. He was really easy to kill too. I don't know if he's supposed to be this easy to kill, but he was really easy to kill. As soon as you put enough damage on him, he will drop, and then you'll see the ivory key that you were looking for and the ghost mask. I hadn't got the ghost mask on PS4, so this was easy for me to get. This is a lot easier to get than the other way I showed you guys how to do it before. So if you guys are looking at getting the ghost mask and the eighth ivory key, this is how you guys do it. So let's take a look at this mask, and this is the ghost mask. It's pretty cool, it's pretty basic. Um, it's not my favorite, but 
I'm definitely glad I'm done with all the masks. I have 12 for 12. Remember, if you guys have any question on any of the other masks, use the comment section down below. A link to the first 10 masks will be in the description box. And remember guys, take your time, have patience. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, smash the thumbs up if you found it useful. If you're new to my channel, first time watching the video, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell on. So when I release a video, you guys get notified. And as always guys, if I don't see you guys in the dark zone, it's only a matter of time. Nothing but skills out. Thank you.